Hey everyone and welcome back. So today I'm just creating a nice soft cut crease and giving you two different lip options. One for the neutral girls out there and one for those of us who like a bit of bold fun. But before we go ahead and get started, I am going to let you know that at the end of the video I will be giving you all the details on how you can enter my giveaway that I did mention on Instagram the other day. So stay tuned till the end. Thanks guys. So I'm going to start with my Morphe concealer and just apply this onto my eyelids for a good base. And I'm just going to blend this in with my beauty blender. I'm just going to take this shade here in my Morphe 350 palette and just a clean fluffy brush and I'm just going to apply this all over my eyelid just to set that concealer and give a good base for the eyeshadow. Then we're going in with some scotch tape and just use this just to keep the edges nice and neat. And just apply that. Just apply it to the back of your hand a couple of times just to sort of take away some of the stickiness and then apply it in the direction that you want your eyeshadow to go. Okay, so I'm going to go in with this colour here and a fluffy blending brush and I'm just going to blend that nice and softly into my crease. Just making sure it's going right from the inner corner all the way to the outer corner and taking it a little bit up towards the brow burn. You don't have to be really neat on the outside corner, that's why the tape is there. And that's why we started on the eyes first, so we can wipe away any fallout. So just backwards and forwards in windshield wiper motions. Okay, and then I'm going to go in with this colour right here, it's sort of a warm dark brown and a smaller blending brush, it's a MAC 286 and just going to take this from the outer corner slightly lower. Just going to take this from the outer corner and just take it in again into the crease but just slightly lower than that first shade. So just focusing it more on the outer portion of the crease but just still bringing it in. Okay, and then back in with the original brush with no extra product, but we're just blending that all out. Okay, and then I'm going to go in with an even darker brown shade, which is a really nice warm brown here and just a really small tapered pencil brush and this is just really good to get in there with the detail. So we're just taking this from the outer edge right in but just keeping it right up in the crease. Thank you. 
and then back in with the smaller blending brush and just blending that out so there's no harsh lines. And then repeat the process on the other eye. So that dark brown shade on the pencil brush and just take it right in, keeping it in that crease. And then back in with the smaller blending brush and just blend it out so there's no harsh lines. Okay, and then back in with some more of that transition shade and the original fluffy brush and just blend. So now I'm going to take some of the same concealer on the back of my hand and just a small concealer brush and I'm just going to cut my crease. So just starting in the centre. So now we're going to go in with this shade here, which is Swipe Right from the 35V Morphe palette. And we are going to go in with a flat lid brush. And this is just really good for packing this colour on. And we're just keeping it in this cut crease area. Just really pack this on. Okay, so next we are going to just do a winged liner. I'm just going to go in with the Makeup Revolution liner. Apply a wing. Okay, so I'm actually going to go in with the Maybelline Gel Liner and my Bobbi Brown Ultra Fine Eyeliner Brush and I'm just going to apply that, seeing as the Makeup Revolution Liner has dried up. So once our wings are on, just applied a really nice thin wing. We're going to take off the tape and at this point you can clear up any mistakes that you made on your wing. Just even everything out. 
Okay, and then I am going to go in with a mascara. I'm going to use the Rimmel Super Curl Mascara and just give a light coat to my upper lashes. And that will just help the falsies blend in. And then I am going in with the Eyelaw Luxe Bauble Lash, which is a mink effect lash. And these are only 5 99 each, and they are really good. So I will just apply my lashes off camera, and I will be back in a second. Okay, so now I've applied my lashes, I'm going to move on to my face. So I'm just going to go in with my Makeup Revolution Radiance Primer and I am just going to apply this with my fingertips onto my cheeks and my forehead. So I'm going to be going in with the Colourpop No Filter Foundation in the shade Light 70 and I'm just going to apply a few dots of this. And I'm just going to go in with my damp beauty blender and just blend this out. And just bringing it down my neck as you don't want any foundation lines. And as I've not self tanned this isn't greatest colour match for me at the moment but it's what we can work with so with a bit of concealer and some other products we will make it work and then I am going in with my Morphe concealer and just applying this under my eye obviously just being careful of the winged liner that you've just done and again, I am going to blend this out with my damp beauty sponge. And then I'm just going to go in with my Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder and just a damp beauty sponge. And I'm just going to apply this underneath my eyes where I've just applied my concealer just to set this and we're going to leave it there to bake just going to apply the same concealer on the high points of my face down my nose just to brighten everything else up and going in with the same beauty blender just blending this out so while that under my eye is baking. I'm now going to move on to um, some contour. So I will be going in with my Charlotte Tilbury, the contour wand in shade medium dark and just applying this and to go in with my Tarte angled contour brush and just blend this out. And 
just going to contour my nose. I'm just going in with the other end of my tart brush and just to blend this out. And just run the leftover product underneath my lip and just apply some onto my temples where I would lightly contour here just with the angled end of my brush just blend that out as well this just helps to warm up the skin and to give the appearance of a smaller forehead and it just ties everything in together I'm going to go back in with that same beauty sponge we had the Laura Mercier product on and just apply it underneath where I just contoured just to clean it up slightly just leave that on just lightly to bake so while that does that while that all sets we're now just going to move on to brows I am going to be using the Primark skinny brow pencil and I'm going to start by just combing through my brows just to get rid of any powder product that may be in there and just to get them into the shape that I want and then we're going to start filling them in okay so once the brows are done i'm just going to go over them with some brow gel just to set those in place and i'm just going to use the primark clear brow gel i did review a full face of primark makeup and included all the hits and misses so if you guys want to see how these products performed and how other ones um didn't perform very well then don't forget to check that video out I'll leave the link in the description box down below now that my brows are done we're just going to wipe away this baking just brush that excess product over the skin just to set everything else and next I'm going to just set my contour and just intensify it a little bit and I'm going to take the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour shade in Java and my NARS Eater brush and I am just going to intensify okay so next I'm just going to go in with some blush and I'm going to use colour pops between the sheets blush and I'm just going to take a stippling brush just because I want a light wash of colour not anything too much and just apply this to the apples of the cheeks and then bring it back to the hairline So now we're just going to move on and finish off the eyes with this brown colour and just apply some to the lower lash line just with a small detailed pencil brush. And 
the, just keeping this towards the outer corner of the lower lash line. And then I'm just going to go in with a clean pencil brush and just going to go in with the transition colour and I'm just going to blend that out and bring it down slightly. For brow highlight I'm going to go in with Colourpop's Flexitarian and just a detailed small brush and just apply this underneath my brow bone. As you can see it's pretty pigmented. So we're just going to use the same colour as our inner corner highlight and that just really opens the eyes up. And then we are just going to go in with that same Rimmel mascara and just apply this to the lower lash line. So I'm going to use that same Flexitarian highlighter from Colourpop and an intense shade. I'm just going to go in with a fan brush, hit the high points of my cheekbones. And look at that highlight, such good highlights for the price. And the same on the other side, just sticking to the high point of my cheek. And look at that glare. And then on the tip of my nose. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to lips and I'm going to do two options today. I'm going to keep it nice and nude and simple for those girls that love the nudes and then I'm going to get in with something fun and colourful for the second option. Okay, so option number one, I'm going to start by going in with the Primark Lip Pencil in Toast. I'm not overlining my lips or anything, I'm just keeping it natural. And then I'm going to go in with an oldie but a goodie. This is my favourite go to, and it's the Kat Von D Liquid Lip in Lolita. Okay, so for option number one you could just leave it there and just have a nice mauvey brown matte lip but what I'm actually going to do to keep it fun and glowy to match my highlight is I'm going to add a lip topper and I'm going to go in with the Jouer lip topper in the colour Saint Tropez and I am just going to apply this Okay, so now on to option number two, guys. I'm just going to go in with a classic red look, which is something that I love to wear. And I'm actually going to be going in with the Kylie Cosmetics Mary Jo Lip Kit. So I'm going to start with the lip pencil and just line my lips. And then I'm going to go in with Mary Jo K Liquid Lip. <music> I 
and that is the lip guys. Now you could apply a bit of gloss over the top if you wanted to go for a shiny look or a bit of highlighter in the centre of the lips which I'm just going to take my fan brush and whatever's left and then I'm going to go in with my NYX setting spray in dewy finish hey so we made it to the end of the video that's great guys and I hope you enjoyed don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and leave a comment in the section down below also I did say at the beginning of the video that I'll be letting you know about the giveaway that I've got planned and there's three easy steps to the giveaway so number one you have to subscribe to my YouTube channel number two follow me on Instagram and number three follow me on Twitter both social media platforms are linked in the description box down below and once we get to 100 YouTube subscribers I will then announce the giveaway winner all the details of the giveaway all the small de all the small details of the giveaway will be in the description box down below as well so don't forget to check those out before you enter and the big thing what you'll be winning so i will be giving away your very own morphe 35r palette i have a fresh one unopened in a box all ready to go so let's get this channel to 100 subscribers guys and then i will pick one lucky winner Thank you very much for watching, don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for the next video. Bye guys!